Welcome to the Improv. Something as always, I'm your host Spencer, and with me today I have a very special guest. Now, I always say that, but today it truly is so because everyone's a special guest here on this show. And today I have with me, take the first letter of the first name, throw an adjective in there. It's amazing, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm and disappearing, here. Aaron. A reappearing, Aaron. Yeah, th that's also the f the alliterative letter of my name. Also, if you didn't notice this. We're in the same place at the same time until we disappear. That is weird. It's like picking up. Anyway, let's dive in, shall we? Uh, Aaron, tell me all about your improv background. What is your improv experience? Uh, I've done improv off and on uh, for the past maybe nine years or so. Uh, mostly here since I've been in been in L.A. Uh, if I go forward and you go back, well, that that did that seem to work? No. Well, oh, 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 okay, I'll stay oh. here. I'll stay here. Okay. I mean, I don't need the uh, the lower half of my yeah, body to fine. talk. We could just be floating heads. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I uh, I I I really got into improv. There you go. Uh, when I uh, first, when I was doing a like a, I auditioned to get into a group, uh, and uh, you would actually basically audition from every week to to stay in the group. It, it was kind of survivory. Uh, so that's when I first started, and uh, I've since taking some classes and and I've gotten to meet you and, and some other fun things. Yes, I should every talk. Time I, every time I point, I, you dis, I point to the get uh, ah, One mind. of us Forget disappears? It. Forget it. Maybe if I get closer? No, that's worse. Or I, I'll go back and... Okay. Oh right my here. god! <laughs> no! Wait, I could do this I just can't move. I just can't move. Hang on. I, I need to go out. I'll be right back. No, I see your arm. Back. Oh, damn it. <laughs> go back. Go, 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 oh, yeah, go. yeah. Grab a snack. Oh, ooh, uh, there mean, you go. That was so tasty. That's well, that. Well, you're back. Well, that's that. Okay, all right. Enough snack. Enough all snack. Right, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for reminding me. This is so interesting. It's fun. Uh, cool. Great. Uh, anything else about your uh, improv background experience? Anything exciting? Um, no, not, not particularly, I don't think. Yeah, that's usually what it is. It's just improv and that's it. Yeah, um, what do you love about improv? What like keeps you like doing improv and wanting to take more improv and performing improv? And stuff uh, like that. I... I found that improv has been very helpful to me. It's like a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> anyway, you, sorry. You are the one. Uh, I, improv to me has been um, kind of restorative, healing, uh, um, uh, educational in, in in areas for improv. But I'm but uh, I'm referring more to just being um, uh, in just everyday life. I found that it's been very uh, helpful to me and. Uh, uh, developing confidence and maybe a little bit of wit or understanding uh, play and, and nuance in life and yeah. being able to communicate that and uh, so that's something that I that I very much enjoy and being able to to give and to receive um, uh, is uh, something that I've really enjoyed learning through learning improv. Sure, sure, that's great. Um, are there any how do I ask this question? So a lot of times as improvisers, we do scenes and then we forget what we did or what we watched uh, because it's all improv and then it's, oh, I tried to do a joke and then it's gone. Ah, then it's, ah, it was, yeah. ah I tried, I tried. And then it's gone. There, uh, mm -hmm. uh, ah, okay. Anyway, I guess every time I move, you go away. Every time you move, I go away. Yeah, it's true. Well, how about, anyway, I, how about I do the but, moving for now and wait. I'll no, just... it doesn't work. It's fine. Uh, Why well, so, come back in and answer a question? I'll come back. Oh, there it is. Um, so that being said, um, do you are there any scenes that you remember uh, as a performer or as a student or as an audience member, like a two person scene, a group scene, where you're like, I will never forget this because of X Y Z. Hmm. Uh, there were. <laughs> for for me, there have been some moments of. Um, creativity that were absolutely surprising. Um, some moments where I've kind of discovered uh, new things, new, new, new games. A lot of the, the things that we did in, in the classes that we were in, I really enjoyed. Uh, offhand, I, I'm not, I, I don't have a, one that I remember specifically. It's always a hard question because yeah. I don't remember much about improv, like even like in a scene, yeah. if someone calls me a name, I'll be like, is that me? Is that you're talking to me again? I don't remember who I was. I just I, when I'm watching improv, like 
I, I sometimes I just I just am just in in awe at how good the people are, uh, or how funny the scenes turn out to be. Mm -hmm. And so I just remember the joy that I felt sure. from from being in or from watching, and uh, and it's a great feeling. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna stop something real quick and just see if I take this off. If it's gonna do any better. As far as uh, let's see, this is what I don't want, but. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we'll just make it work. Sure. Leave this back on. We'll make it work. Cool. Um, yeah. So I think that that's always a tricky question because I just can never remember anything in general. Mm -hmm. So remembering an improv scene that I don't have to worry about later on <laughs> is much more difficult yeah. because I know that there's no stakes involved. There's nothing really to like remember it for. Um, but mm -hmm. that being said, there's so many different types of improv. So many different styles, so many different, like a short form, long form, musical genre, blah, 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 blah. Are there any types of improv that you find yourself being like really drawn to? Any particular types? Right now, uh, I there's one uh, that I, there's two things, I guess. I love the type of improv where you kind of connect to what is it all about? What's the scene about? Um, it, it kind of collects all the information and really makes it kind of wholesome mm -hmm. in a way, um, where it's like, why, what are we doing here? You and I, you know, why are, why are two people really talking at this moment? And that's, it, it's, it, it, it can get a little emotional. It can mm -hmm. be really lovely. So there's that. And also I love, uh, the, the wit that comes out of the really fast improv, the games and um the sport of it from like from like one school i don't know if we if we're allowed to say yeah, but yeah you comedy, yeah, comedy yeah, sports sure. uh and um and actually i'm hoping to get back into that so yeah because yeah. it was just so much fun and and uh, i felt like it created a lot of confidence and and uh and character i guess yeah oh for sure that's great yeah. um do you have anything you want to plug or pitch this is just a you question uh, i'm right now i'm in uh, a scripted comedy podcast called Madison on the Air. Uh, you can type that in with a dot com to get to the website, or it's all, you can find it on Pandora and Spotify. Uh, it's uh, a, a VO uh, show of uh, old time radio shows and TV shows that were turned into a, a revamped with uh, this character that kind of gets quantum leaped into mm -hmm. each episode. So you've got like Batman, you've got like Sherlock Holmes, The Shadow, you've got a bunch of different things. Uh, shows that um, take a, a a new kind of fun look at at it while being kind of uh, pulled apart by this main character. Sure. And I get to play some of the fun characters in there. That's awesome. Thanks. Great. Thanks. It'd also you. be dropped in the. You can't even see it now. <laughs> dropped in the YouTube comment down below. So check it out. Uh, anything else you want to plug, pitch, promote? Uh, question. No <laughs> question. No. At at the moment, uh, in terms of me, I. I nothing else uh great um people can find me at dapper driver or uh aaron in a bowl on instagram great but, um, great about, yeah but um yeah uh i feel like this whole time this interview has been about me what's going on with you my man Just well not done yet oh oh no, it's okay. i'm no. ruining it no it's okay ah! This whole, I, it's already ruined. I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, thank it's goodness. Just, this, this. <laughs> also, people don't know what I'm doing. I'm I know. Like, it's so hard I'm like to communicate Slapping right a now. computer. <laughs> but I'm not actually hitting it because that would hurt my computer. Uh, get out of here. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it only happens to yourself. I don't how are you feeding me like, I don't know what I, I know I'm so bad at object work I told people this on this show so many times well no well so is the computer so you're okay <laughs> so is the virtual background I'm just like uh here do this <laughs> oh you're gone you're back so here's my next question for you um, awesome. so I'm doing well thank you um <laughs> my next question for you is actually um my last question for you it's the reason why the improv summit exists now for many episodes, this happens in every episode, this question. Prior to pandemic, I had a lot of people who were like, Spencer, you took a lot of improv. Where shall I take improv? And they mm -hmm. say it in that voice, obviously, uh, every time. <laughs> so, uh, so what is that voice? I, oh, your, your voice like this. Uh, what, is, what is this? It's uh, like, it's like, it's like me me trying to be Sean Connery, but like uh, not very good at accents. But it's, but it's like a, it's like a 
arrogant -y version of it's like the it's SNL a, version. A stereotype of, of it's like um, the SNL version of a guy being Sean Connery. Yeah, like oh, I know best. I'm old school. Yeah. Boomer well, or you know, uh, Sean Connery here. Uh, kids think I have really good impressions, and I'm like, you need to get out more. Well, well they're um, absolutely correct. <laughs> um, that being said, um, one of the things people ask me is, they're like, where should I take it? Where should I take improv? And I, really, <laughs> where should I take improv? So it's like almost like a little bit of bane to maybe. So the, yeah, the kids anyway. are asking this. Yeah. Yeah. So all the kids, no, but like even adults too are asking, um, "Where should I take improv?" Yeah. And so I can't do it without saying that voice now. Okay. And so my question to you is, that's such a loaded question that I can't just like answer that question. Of like, go here because I don't know what people's backgrounds are, like what their goals are. Mm. If someone came up to you and said, "Where should I take improv?" What would be like one piece of advice or one tidbit you give to them to help guide them on their improv journey? That's a great question, and uh, for me, um, well. If someone were asking me that, that would mean that they probably have less improv experience than I do. You certainly have a lot more uh, improv experience than I do. Um, but I, I, uh, uh, I would, what I would tell them is to go to the places that I've been or to consider going to some of the places that I uh, either auditioned to get in or haven't yet gone to uh, and didn't get in. Gr uh, everyone talks about Groundlings and UCB, Second City, because they're they will obviously get the job done in different ways. Uh, um, from what I've from what I've heard, I've gone to um, the Improv Trick or uh, uh, with a uh, Bill Cott. Yeah, shout out Bill Cott. You know Bill Cott? Yeah, I know. Oh Bill my Cott. God, of course you do. <laughs> uh, and and Jay Suko. Yeah, uh, shout out to Jay who was on this show already. Oh my gosh, wonderfully. Jay's amazing as well. Uh, and and uh, um, the uh, the comedy sports. It. it Definitely depends on what they're looking to get out of it, I think. Yeah. What brings them joy and where they are in their process, I guess. Um, and then we can go from there and discuss more uh, in, in depth about which would be the best fit for them. Because uh, I know that, that some of them uh, are more easier than others to possibly get into mm -hmm. or whatever, whether you're a beginner or more experienced. Sure. So, you know, very long winded answer. That's no, I think that's I great. Say. I think it's great. It's, it's a matter of. Like you said something about bringing joy and it made me think of like Marie Kondo, like, like, uh, get rid of what you don't want, keep mm -hmm. what you do yeah. and maybe adjust things as you need, but it's all about keeping that joy, what sparks joy. Yeah. And so I think that that's, I think that's a great analogy there. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks so much for me. Aaron here on the improv summit. Um, as always, I say that's the last question I have, but as always on this show, I'm a big liar. I'm going to look directly into the camera and say that, which I found out is actually not that green light. And it's actually next to the green light. The green light means it's actually recording and the camera's <laughs> being used. And I didn't know that until like two weeks ago. So I'm gonna look directly into the camera now and ask you one more question. We've been talking a lot about improv. You wanna do some improv? Oh my gosh, you, you've you tricked me. You brought me here under false what pretenses. A surprise. Um, but I guess I must when in, when in Rome. Let's do it, even the though we're in California. Capital, All right. <laughs> <laughs> even though we're in... I don't know. I don't have a joke. The Col Colosseum in a minute. Ah, you didn't even yes. see it. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's do some improv. Wow, we're in person doing improv. What? Oh my gosh, no way. Fully vaxxed and ready to improvise. Cool. Um, Aaron, what I need from you is a location, a relationship, or a word. A, a what do you want a suggestion of? Uh, oh, uh, word. Word. Great. I'm going to give you two words. You tell me which one you want to go with. Okay. Suggestions are court and love are the two suggestions. Let's do court. Court, great. Uh, who would you like to initiate the scene? Please, you. Great. All right. Uh, thank you, court. Hello. Ding, ding, ding. I missed. You can do better next time. For sure. Fine. Ah, oh no, yeah, your form is all off. You're the worst hype man ever. Uh, you gotta get good first, but you're, I, I gotta get, I gotta get better too. It's Kevin, true. yeah, I, yeah. The reason I hired you as my hype man is because you were like the loudest person in all of the city, and I thought, like, wow, right. this is gonna be great. Um, I need a lot of like positive feedback and a lot of like great uh, support, and it just kind of is like, how do I say this? It's kind of too much sometimes. But you're gonna need that if you're gonna be an Olympic 
athlete. You know what I mean? That's exactly what I mean. I, I'm really terrible at basketball. I appreciate I appreciate the support, but I am not cut out for this. No, yeah, yeah. Listen, Zachary, the best way to get good for the Olympics, hands down. It just just like it's just like everybody knows, you gotta work with a hype man. I'm not going to the Olympics. That's that's what you say now, but wait till you're there. Kevin, yeah. I'm terrible at basketball. Yeah, but you're gonna not be. I'm telling you. This is exactly what I mean. You're just so positive about everything. Like, even if it's not gonna happen, you still tell me it's gonna happen. You get my hopes up. Don't do that. I I uh but but that's 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 how that's 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 me and I, I that's that's why you brought me along that's why I'm here because I believe in you yeah I understand I just I just need you to tell me like it is tell me I'm not gonna go to the Olympics tell me I'm not gonna be a basketball player you're not gonna go to the Olympics be a basketball player any of that stuff Great. without me here oh my now. gosh this is not what I mean. There's no us. There's no us. You're there's, absolutely there's no right. Me. The team is all you, my man, except for me just hollering from the sidelines because that's my job. I know how to do that, and you you do what you're going to be good at like you Kevin, are. Look me in the eyes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't need you anymore. Those are basketball eyes. Because I am not going to... It's not... Stop! It's not getting in my head. Okay. I don't need you anymore. Mm-hmm. Because you are good. Because I... Why do you do this? Kevin, listen, look at me. Don't say anything. Just look at me in the eyes. Dead in the eyes. Mm. This is what I have to say. I don't need you anymore because I am not going to be a basketball player ever. There is no way I'm going to be a basketball player. I'm never playing basketball. Okay, we can try a different sport if that's really what you want to do. Scene! (laughs) 